NASA move over. A private American company is taking center stage in the world of aerospace research. Today, SpaceX and its billionaire founder are basking in worldwide glory after an incredible achievement. A first of its kind space flight so revolutionary, observers say we're now in a whole new era of space travel. The CBC's Paul Hunter joins me from Washington with the details. Paul. It's a breakthrough, Wendy, not because of the way a SpaceX rocket blasted off toward Earth's orbit as it did last night, but because of the way it came back. So there it is, first thing this morning, all in one piece, a used rocket, effectively now available to be used all over again. Can you believe it? Two, one, zero. Skip back a few hours to last night and lift off for the Falcon 9 bound for orbit where it would release 11 communication satellites. No big deal. But what happened next was remarkable. The rocket's booster stage, the part that carries most of the fuel, came back, landing upright, smack on target at Cape Canaveral. More than 50 years into the space age, it was a feat never before seen, let alone celebrated, not to mention achieved by a private company, as Elon Musk, the billionaire behind PayPal, Tesla Motors, and the rocket company SpaceX, took a giant leap toward his goal of developing a reusable rocket. Live from Cape Canaveral. Musk himself even tweeted this video from the landing zone. Last night was a huge breakthrough, not just for SpaceX and for America's commercial space industry, but for the whole world. Say observers, it's all about cost. A reusable rocket is a way less expensive rocket, allowing more people to send more stuff up there. We have wanted more reliable, safer, cheaper access to space since we've dreamed of going into space. Landing gear is down and locked. Sure, the space shuttle used to land safely and go again, but its costs were astronomical. Musk's is a relative bargain, but he's already got competition. Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up. Remember the space race of the 60s, the U.S. versus the Soviet Union? Now it's billionaire versus billionaire. Musk versus Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon, whose own rocket company landed a test flight just last month. Also upright and on target, but a key difference, the Bezos machine had not reached orbit. Leaving for now, Musk, SpaceX and the Falcon 9 rocket as reigning champs in this modern day race for the stars. SpaceX has enough believers, it's already got another 60 missions lined up worth about $8 billion. The lower the costs, the higher the profits, the more liftoffs to follow. Wendy. Thanks, Paul. Paul Hunter in Washington.